back to another day of a year in miracles. Today we are on a Course in Miracles workbook lesson 287. So let me jump right in this morning. Today's lesson is, you are my goal, my father. Only you. Where would I go but heaven? What could be a substitute for happiness? What gift could I prefer before the peace of God? What treasure would I seek and find and keep that can compare with my identity? And would I rather live with fear than love? You are my goal, my father. What but you could I desire to have? What way but which leads to you could I desire to walk? And what except the memory of you could signify to me the end of dreams and futile substitutions for the truth? You are my only goal. Your son would be as you created him. What way but this could I expect to recognize myself and be at one with my identity? And that's it. That's our lesson for today. It just begs to ask the question, what would you want in this life except love? right? Why would you choose to live in misery and pain and fear? Why would you choose to be anything but what you are in truth? And that's what this lesson is asking, right? It's asking and explaining that you are my only goal, my father, only you. And what does that mean? It means that we, our goal is to align with that one mind of love. That's all. And if we want to do that, if we want to align with that one mind of love and be at that place of peace and be at that place of knowledge and oneness and that power of love, why would we choose to walk in a different direction, right? When we know that this is where we need to get, why are we going out here and continue to go out here every day, right? It's like we've got a GPS system and it says, okay, I want to go to love. I want to go to that place of one mind of God, right? So how do I get there? Here's the directions. Oh, okay, you go inside. But then we, we set out on our days, right? And we go out. And it's like, wait, re, reconnect, right? It's, it's constantly telling us, turn around, take a U-turn, go the other way. Go to the next intersection and take a U-turn, right? Back inside. So that's what we want to get to. We want to get that GPS turning us around back inside, right? So when we're going out here to find our happiness, when we're going out here to find our identity in the face of others or in the face of, you know, acknowledgement that you are worthy and, and you are smart and you are safe, we're going out here, right? Out in the world to look for that. And our GPS is saying, take a U-turn, right? So that's what our lesson today is all about. Where would I go but heaven, right? So let's not go out here for heaven today. Let's go in here. What could be a substitute for happiness, right? Our happiness is all inside of us. That's where it is. What gift could I prefer before the peace of God, right? And sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, that must be so boring, right? Why would I want to just be in that bubble of love all day long? How do you know it's boring if you haven't tried it, right? Isn't that the ego mind trying to trick you and to find happiness outside of yourself? You don't want to turn around. It's going to be boring back there. Find it out here. Don't listen to that ego voice, right? Listen to your higher self. Close your eyes. Connect to that truth about who and what you are and go inside, right? Take a U-turn. So that's it. That's all our lesson is today, is understanding what your goal is and understanding what you truly desire and saying, you know, what way but that which leads to you could I desire to walk, right? So 
So ask yourself, if you want to go inside and connect to that truth about yourself, that place of love and power, so that you can bring that with you into the world and create happiness and abundance, it has to start in here, right? So take that U-turn today. Go inside and see if that helps today. See how far you get with this lesson today. So that's it. That is our that is our lesson for today. Good morning, everyone. Great to see all of you this morning. Hey, Carl, great to see you on the live feed this morning. Hey, Terry. Good sunny morning to you, Francine. I'm glad the sun is shining for you. Hey, Colette, great to see you this morning. Hi, honey. Thanks for watching on the live feed this morning. Good morning, Carl. Hey, Jorge, nice to see you this morning. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to all. Thank you, Colette. Good morning to you, too. Hey, Cindy, good to see you here this morning. Good morning, Barb. Hey, everyone. Hey, Gerald, good to see you this morning. Good morning from Binghamton. Hey, Terry, you're back in Binghamton today. Great, that's awesome. Hey, Patricia, nice to see you here on the live feed this morning. Hi, my sissy. You must be on your way to work this morning catching the live feed. It's so good to see you on the live feed. Hey, William. Great to see you this morning. Hi, Alec. Yeah, love is the best, right, Carl? I agree with you. Hey, Terry. Great post this morning on your journey, on your yoga teacher training. I think that's amazing that you're doing that. Um, I really enjoyed enjoyed seeing um, all of the things that came up for me during my yoga teacher training, and it's such an empowering journey, and uh, I, I really I'm so happy that you're doing that. So best of luck to you on that. And I look forward to seeing your posts on what's coming up for you in that. Um, good morning, William. The world is just disconnecting from the world. Yeah, you know, it is. You can see that, William. And um, and also, you know, you can see a lot of of what fear does. And, um, and you can see that show up in the world. And that's why it's important to choose love for yourself and be that love and show up big in the world as love so that other people can see that, right, instead of fear. And who is that other people? It's just ourselves. It's just the reflection of ourselves. So if we can be the change we want to see in the world, that's how change starts, right? It all starts in here. So if you're looking outside at a fearful world and you're not happy with what you see, realize the only way you're going to change it by changing yourself and bringing that into the world, right? Into this world of illusions, bringing that love and that peace and that guidance that you're following into the world. And you don't even have to, you know, project that onto anybody. People will see that. They'll look at you and they'll notice that something's changed. Something is different. And, uh, and like the Course in Miracles says, the teacher and the student appear exactly at the right moment. So when you bring that into the world, the people will come that need to see that um, and, and you will be the change for them. And that's how we show up in the world in a place of love. So that's that. Inner peace and light, right, Terry? I know, it's so great. Hi, Sarah. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, Colette. Yes, agreed. I know it is. Uh, and, and why not? That's why we're doing this work so that we can be light workers, right? So we can show up in that place of love and we can be the change and uh, instead of fear that people can see. So uh, great to see you all here on the live feed and see how this shows up for you today, right? Instead of going out there to see what's out there, go in here, right? Where would you go but heaven? Go to that place of heaven today, show up big for yourself and for everyone else, which is just a mirror of yourself, and see how that works out for you today. I will be back again tomorrow morning with our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. Until then, enjoy this beautiful Monday and enjoy showing up for yourself and for others today on this beautiful Monday. All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.